This will just be a short run through on the electrics in the in Zingara. <clears throat> and over here I have a bit of a control panel. The first item here is a sensor light on permanently, off in the middle, and auto to the right. Just a simple click. It's battery operated, that's on. Off and auto only comes on at night. Great to leave when you hop out. Here is the meter that shows you the state of charge of the batteries. You can see there, today it's been a rainy day, still 95%. The first button on the left, on off, so one quick press. Well, a bit longer, yeah, it turns it off. Same again, on. Yeah, show me to be a liar. This is on, showing the battery at 95%. So the, uh, the button to the right, press once, shows you the level, the voltage the batteries are sitting at and the current in or out with the minus in front of it, the 2.3 amps, that's being drawn. That's probably the fridge running at the moment. And here it has a time to empty. So at this rate, it'd take two days, 14 hours and 35 minutes. When it goes to a positive, when the sun's coming in or it's being charged, that minus 2.4 will turn into a positive, whatever's coming in, and it'll tell you, tell you down the bottom there, time to full. So that gives you an idea of what the batteries are doing. One more press. That just tells you the state of the batteries. A bit more detail. It's nothing you have to worry about. It, they're all automatic, but good to know. And I normally leave it on so I can see what the batteries are drawing. The next switch over here is the main inverter. This inverter powers the two power points on the kitchen bench and behind the kitchen table. So again, just one press, you see a little green come, light comes on, that means the power points are on. Those power points, I hate swiveling around too fast, but there's two there at the end of that bench. They're on now, you sw turn the switch on, plug in whatever you're gonna plug in, up to 2000 watts. And down behind the kitchen bench is two more as this table here turns around, we use that as an office, so that's why we put two power points there into the kitchen. Anyway, that's it, and then one same press switches it off. The next, uh, really quite simple, this is the light over the kitchen. You might have seen the light come on behind me then. This second switch is a light just there. And the third switch is a light in the skylight and you can just see a faint glow of the switch so it's on and then one press turns the light on a second press is sort of milder dimmer i should say and the third press is your disco lights or blue light one more is off with all these switches i ask you always turn them off just better for 12 volt because you only have batteries and the less it's on the better the pump, water pump, turn it on there. Over to the kitchen, pumps away. And you see the meter up the top there too. That comes on automatically. When that light goes off, then it's safe to come back over here and turn the switch off. There you go, that's a bit for that power board.